Courthouses across Texas on edge as police are scrambling for clues about the death of a district attorney and his wife. ABC's Pierre Thomas is in Kaufman, Texas with the very latest right now. Pierre, good morning. Good morning, Amy. In just a few hours, prosecutors will be back here at the courthouse under tight security as the investigation of these assassinations intensifies. Palpable fear of the Kaufman County Courthouse as employees escorted by security. The district attorney's office due to reopen today, but a feeling of nervousness pervades this entire community. A clearer picture is emerging of who would want to kill the Kaufman County prosecutor and his wife. I think is a, a, a clear uh, concern to individuals who are in public life, particularly those who deal with uh, some very... Um, mean and vicious individuals, whether they're white supremacy groups or whether they're uh, the, the drug cartels. The Kaufman prosecutors had targeted both white supremacists and drug runners. Last December, Texas authorities warned that white supremacists might attack law enforcement after members of the Aryan Brotherhood of Texas were indicted last fall. ABC's John Schriffen spoke to Craig Watkins, who is the first African-American DA in the state of Texas. Obviously, we're under attack. He fears not only for his own safety, but his family's. I have three kids um, that are also concerned because they saw the news coverage and started to ask questions of me and what am I going to do to make sure that they're protected. And we're learning this morning that McKellen had security, but it was recently pulled. Police believe they're in a fight between good and evil, where they are the targets, George. Hey, Pierre, thanks. A 10 stay down there.